What's up everyone, I'm Stephen Harrell, Tiny House Listings, and I'm out here in my off-grid property in Eastern North Carolina. And uh, today I want to talk to you guys about a piece of equipment that I just received. It's called the Charge Tech Power Station. And I'm really excited about it. I think I'm the first one to actually review it or even make mention of it on YouTube. So I guess that's kind of cool. It might be a first for me. I don't know. Uh, but they were kind enough to send it. And they want me to check it out, and which I already have, and tell you all about it. Because I think this right here could be a really, really cool setup for specific applications, people in the tiny house movement, uh, depending on your power needs and things like that. So let's kind of dive into it. So this is made by the same company, ChargeTech, as the one that I shared with you earlier this year that I use, have been using to power up this entire cabin. And uh, now that I have this one, I think I'll be using it. Uh, <laughs> but this one has a different intended purpose than the one that uh, I had shared with you earlier this year. And it's exactly twice the size as that one. This one is 125,000 milliamps, and that one is 54,000, something like that. Uh, so just to give you an idea, 125,000 milliamps, a uh, MacBook holds 7,100 milliamps. So you could charge a MacBook 20 times with this thing. And not only is this a power station, it also has a light on the front, which features dim, bright, and an SOS function. And it also has a really cool Bluetooth uh, built-in speaker that I've already checked out. I uh, really, really like that. So on the front, you have a, the power button that you hold to turn on and off. Uh, this tells you how much battery you have. You have a Type-C USB, which is really cool. You have a USB 3.0. You also have fast chargers if you want to charge your um, devices quickly. And this is how you charge it. And this is the light button. What's great is on the back, there are two very similar to this one. This has two power outlets. This one also has two power outlets that you just use to turn on right here. And you can also charge this thing up with a cigarette lighter. Each one of these, believe it or not, can output at the same time 300 watts. So this, you could have a total of 600 watts that comes out of this thing at any given time, which is pretty amazing. But like I was saying, there's different uses for this. I think this would be perfect for the van dweller. Uh, you could literally deplete this at night. You could use all your lights and power up your fridge and all that stuff. And then when you start the van, uh, just have this plugged in and it will immediately start to charge while you're driving in the road. Or if you're staying, uh, staying put, you can just have the battery from your car, which we recharge anyway from your alternator, um, have it replenish the battery in here. And not only that, you can use up to 100 watts that goes straight into here, MP MMPT style connector that goes right in here. Uh, they're everywhere, you can get them on Amazon. So you would take a 100 watt solar panel on your roof, wherever it happens to be and use it to charge this up, which would charge it theoretically at full sun in about four and a half hours. Pairing the speaker is really easy. You just hold this down for a second and then you'll see it show up in your Bluetooth settings in your smartphone. So let's check it out and see what this sounds like. You could run more than two things with this at once given that these have 300 watts and most uh, appliances these days, well, I shouldn't say appliances, devices like a TV, charging a MacBook, a fridge, all that take much less than 300. Uh, you can have a splitter on each one or a surge protector and then put multiple devices on it and run basically anything you need to at once, uh, given that it's not something crazy like a microwave or uh, you know, uh, air conditioner or something like that. Uh, but yeah, any small devices, even you know your refrigerators and stuff like that, you should be able to absolutely run for a good while. So if you missed the video earlier this year, you can click on the top right. I wired up this entire cabin with several outlets. So when I plug that in, this entire cabin is ready. It's hot, I guess you could say. It's juiced up, ready to go and charge your devices, run TVs, things like that. So that's the Charge Tech Power Station. So far, I really like it. I have zero issues with it. I've only used it twice out here, and so, like I said, so far it's been it's been a great setup. I like the fact that it has the light and the speaker actually, uh, especially if you're going camping or something like that. Uh, but for certain applications, like here in this cabin where I don't have major appliances, or if you're in a van and you only have like a small fridge, uh, LED lights, charging your devices and stuff like that this is a great great solution uh, if you click down in the link uh, you can go to the website i think you can pre-order at the time of this video being launched it's not actually available yet uh, but maybe by the time you watch it it will be who knows but either way that's the charge tech power station i like it and uh check it out for yourself thanks for watching see you on the next video the best way to live is to live simply why is that why is it better to live simply you have more time 
more money, fewer possessions, fewer worries, and just a better quality of life. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.